Good morning, you guys. So I'm back with another What I Eat in a Day video. I'm super excited to do another one of these. I love them. Um, yeah, so this morning I just had some coffee and almond milk. And now I'm going to head to the gym. Um, I don't really like to eat before I go to the gym. I don't know, it just doesn't really sit well with my stomach. So I'll eat something after. And I decided to pick up this charcoal lemon ginger agave filtered water drink from Pure Green. Um, it doesn't have too much sugar in it, which I like because I don't normally drink too much juices. Um, but I was feeling a little tickle in my throat, so I thought this would be good to try. I'm a bit nervous to try it, honestly. I'm going for an early lunch really soon, but I'm so hungry, so I'm going to have a little snack to tide me over. Just this raw, crunchy almond butter from Trader Joe's with a Macintosh apple and some cinnamon. And I'm all ready for brunch. We're sharing this tiny cupcake. <laughs> Do you like pickles? I don't know. Do you guys? No, I wanted your pickle. So I didn't film too much at lunch or the rest of the day, but lunch was so good. It was at um, the Grey Dog, which is a really great place in the city. They make like homemade bread. It's really fresh and good quality. Um, so I had that Greek salad and it had like some hummus, some chicken, it was huge, So I, but I did eat most of it because I was really hungry and yeah, it was so good. But on my way home, I picked up this turmeric latte from Press Juicery. It is so good, I've been obsessed with it lately, I'm getting it so much um, and it's also so good for you. I'll read out the ingredients that are in it, I just pulled it up here. So it's almond milk, black pepper. Um, I think that's to like activate the turmeric. Um, cinnamon, date, sea salt, turmeric, and vanilla. So good. It's so healthy too and it, turmeric has a lot of um, health benefits. Especially since I've still been feeling a little bit sick today in my throat. I don't know if you can notice but my voice is feeling a little bit off. So I also picked up some other stuff here. I got some wellness shots which have ginger, lemon, and cayenne which are super good for your throat and when you're feeling sick. And then I also got some of these juices. This one has cucumber, celery, watercress, lemon, ginger, and cayenne. And it does not have a lot of sugar. It only has one gram of sugar per serving which is good. And I also got this one which is kale, spinach, romaine, parsley, cucumber, celery, lemon, and sea salt. I'm hoping all of these will make me feel better or I just won't get sick at all. But yeah, so I think I'm going to save most of the juices for tomorrow because I already kind of had one today. But I'm definitely going to do one of these um, ginger wellness shots right now. I don't want to do it. <laughs> these are so strong. They're so good for you. And, whoo, yeah, that's strong. All right, don't be a baby, Laura. So now for dinner, I'm gonna make this Asian chow mein type dish, but instead of the noodles, I'm gonna substitute it with spaghetti squash, which is so good, I've been obsessed with it lately. So I'll just put it in the pan with a little bit of water and then I'll put it in the oven on 400 degrees for about 30 to 40 minutes. So here's kind of an overview of the ingredients that I'm using, but I'll also link the recipe down below. So I'm gonna add three cloves of garlic, one fourth a cup of soy sauce, two teaspoons of ginger, some pepper, and then I'll just mix that up. Now I'm just heating up some coconut oil on a medium high heat and then I'm gonna add in the celery, onion, and carrots and let that cook for about three or four minutes. Once the veggies are looking a bit more cooked, I'm gonna add in some salt and pepper 
And then I'm also going to start tossing in the cabbage. And I'm just going to cook the cabbage until it's kind of heated through, so about a minute. Um, so it'll still have a nice crunch to it. The spaghetti squash is done in the oven, so now I'm just going to grab a fork and kind of scoop it out and throw it into the pan. I've also turned down the heat on the pan a little bit, so now it's more near low. And then I've added in the sauce and kind of mixed it all together. And here is what it looks like when it's all done. It's so good, you guys have to try it. Then I'm just going to take this off the heat and I decided to make a fried egg to put on top today so I'm putting some coconut oil in this cute little mini pan that I have and then I'm grabbing an organic cage free egg from Trader Joe's putting that in the pan on a very low heat then I'll add some salt and pepper and just let that cook a little bit more and now my egg is all done so I'm just going to throw that on top and there you have my dinner for tonight. I wanted something sweet after dinner, so I had two clementines. I somehow still really wanted to eat some oatmeal after all that food, so I just threw some oats, some cinnamon, some pumpkin pie spice in the bowl, and then I'll put some almond milk in there, and I'm going to add in some almond butter, the raw crunchy one from Trader Joe's, and some vanilla, and then I'm just going to throw this in the microwave. So it's not too pretty, but it tastes really good, and it completely filled me up um, before bed. And I like to add a little bit of cold milk on top. 